Hey guys, welcome to Robust Circuits. Today we are going to see how to set up VS Code for our Arduino and ESP devices. So you might be wondering why we are using VS Code when we have our lovely Arduino IDE with us. So here are the reasons. The Arduino IDE or Integrated Development Environment is great at achieving its intended purpose. It's simple, single file application development environment. It has just the enough integrated tools to help achieving that purpose. But for larger application developments, whether you are designing Arduino libraries or designing a whole complex code, it doesn't compare with a full featured C++ IDE. The Arduino IDE lacks a number of professional code assistant features like code navigation. Whether it's fine by reference means instantly navigating to the definition of the function you are using Search by symbol means quick navigation to the function or symbol definitions within a file or quick link to a compilation error. Code navigation is critical to manage large code bases. Suppose you are building code for an ESP32 based IoT automation device which include use of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and dual core applications along with IoT data processing. Then you will need to define a lot of functions and a lot of variables. Navigation through that code will help you a lot in detecting and correcting errors and increasing its functionality, which Arduino IDE doesn't have. The next feature is autocomplete. This feature can of course help to complete the constant names, but it also can provide insights to the parameters of a function may expect. Suppose you are defining a function with the first variable be a character, second be a string and third be an integer. So whenever you are using that function, the autocomplete will automatically show what, what variables are going to be inserted in that. The third tool is the version control integration. Whether you are, use, whether you are using Git or SVN, Many modern IDE provide source control integration that can show line by line the changes you have made since your last commit. That means it will be easy for you to monitor when, when and why the changes are made by you. The next feature is refracting. Need to overall a function's name scheme or convert a common block of code into a function that can be more widely used throughout your application. Sounds like a refracting job, right? A modern IDE can help with that. The next feature which Arduino IDE lacks is the integrated terminal. Whether you use a bash or a Windows CMD, an integrated terminal can save you lots of time. The tools allow you to run your favorite commands without ever swapping windows. Once you take time to learn these tools, they make programming in C or C++ or any language you are interested in so much more efficient. They help to produce better codes faster. Let's hear a word from the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by LTM Designer. LTM is a PCB designing software. LTM provides industrial level PCB designing tools and features. You can design flexible, semi-flexible and rigid printed circuit boards. LTM designer take PCB designing to the next level to make your product or your project small, reliable and innovative. Try LTM free for 30 days from the link in the description of this video. For meeting the above demands, we are going to use VS Code. Microsoft's Visual Studio Code is a versatile, free and open source code editor. It can be used to develop any application you have in your It can be used to develop any application you have in your mind, whether the code base is C, C++, Python, JavaScript or anything else you find yourself programming in. The power of VS Code stems from its enormous library of extensions. These add-ons to the IDE can do anything from providing code navigation support for additional languages to equipping the IDE with source control support. 
simply by modifying the aesthetics of the editor. This tutorial will demonstrate you how to use a VS Code to build for and program an Arduino, all without ever opening your comfortable yet restricting Arduino IDE. We will try to upload a code in Arduino, then we will install ESP8266 boards using board manager and then finally we will try to upload code in the ESP8266 also. This tutorial will include the following steps. Downloading the VS code, then installing our traditional Arduino IDE, then installing the Arduino and C++ extension in the VS code, then we will take a look at all the Arduino tools which have which are provided in the VS code, then we will write a code and upload our sketch to an Arduino Uno board. And then finally, we will take an ESP8266 board, install the boards in the VS code, then we will compile and upload a sketch in the Node MCU board. So let's get to the first step. VS code is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Installation for various operating systems may vary. For Windows, you have to open a browser and search on Google for VS Code. Then open the first link and click download for Windows. If you are using Linux, then you will find download for Linux button. Once download is complete, we have to install the setup or run the setup if you are using Ubuntu or Linux. While installing, you will get additional tool option. Make sure to tick them all. They will be handy for use in the future. After installation, open the VS Code. Now, in order to install the Arduino extension, firstly, we have to download the Arduino IDE. If you are using Windows 10, don't install the store version. Install the basic version. Go to arduino.cc and download the latest Arduino IDE and install it. Now open VS Code. Uh, on the left side, you will get a button named as extensions. Go to it and from here we can search and install extensions. First of all, search for Arduino and click the first extension. Here you can read about the extension and now click to install. Now as Arduino programming language is based on C++, we have to install the C++ extension also. Now let's start coding. First of all, create an empty folder for saving your codes. Right click and you will see open with code. Click on it. VS code will open. On the left hand side, you will get the explorer menu. There you will see your folders. Click on add a new file on top of that folder and a new file will create it. Name it and make sure to give its extension as .ino. Automatically, Arduino example tab will open in the bottom. Write a small code here. Let's see what features we get in the VS Code. Press Ctrl Shift P. Now we will be able to search our commands. Search for board type. You will see Arduino change board type. Click on it. Then here we can change our board. Search for Arduino Uno and select it. Next, again search for port you will see Arduino change port. Click on it and here you will find your Arduino port if you have connected an Arduino to it. Now let's complete the code and try uploading it to our Arduino Uno. In order to verify our sketch, on the top right of the sketch, you will see three buttons. First one will be for upload, second one will be for verify. Click on verify.
after compilation is done you can click on upload your code will get uploaded to the arduino now let's see some more things again press ctrl shift p this time search for arduino library manager here you can install and manage libraries as you do in the arduino ide let's try installing a simple library search for any library you like i am searching for blink here i get the blink library click on install to install it now let's go to board manager and see what we can do there now search for board manager here you can install boards and manage them search for esp8266 now you will see esp8266 boards click on install them to install now we can build codes for esp8266 as well let us upload a code in esp8266 let's search for board type and change the board from arduino uno to node mcu 1.0 you can also check your current board type from the files from the files from the explorer menu you will see your folder open it now you will see a dot vs code folder click on it then you will see a file name as arduino.json if you click that file you will see all the information for the current board which you have selected along with its port type and its configurations let us change our pins and upload the code to the node mcu in the same method as we done with the arduino if you are familiar with arduino examples you can find there from the explorer tab go to explorer menu you will see arduino examples go to examples and search any one which you want to read or want to upload to the arduino whenever you will select any example a new window will open because the examples are saved in a different folder so a different vs code will open now you can upload by the same process as we done earlier so that's it for this video thanks for taking a trip with us through the world of vs code we hope this pairing one or more like it will help take your arduino development to another level if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you love this then do subscribe don't forget the bell icon bye bye and see you in the next video